hi guys welcome back to the channel and i hope you're having a great day so a viewer sent in a request asking to make this animation uh, i don't know what app this is i don't really care but basically what the animation is that the navigation bar is transparent and when you scroll down this table view or collection view the nav bar kind of fades to a white background and the buttons kind of become red so yeah in this video i'll be showing you how to make this animation happen so let's head over to xvo uh, so i just have a simple view controller which is inside a navigation controller and i have just set these buttons which don't really actually do anything and then i have a collection view here here um, i just have a custom cell and let's just fill this with um, an image and I'm going to so I already have an image in my assets folder and I'm just going to select that choose the content mode to aspect flow cool so let's create an IB outlet for this collection view I'm just gonna call it collection view Okay, uh, so let's so we need to implement three delegate functions to make collection view work. So we need to implement a couple of functions here. Okay, let's run this and see what happens. Where is my collection view? This always happens. So we need to implement the the delegate and data source. Cell and collection view dot data source is cell. Hopefully now it should work. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, we have our five cells there with 300 height and yeah so it's all good so let's make the nav bar transparent so we'll access the navigation controller navigation bar and we'll set the background image to an empty y image for default and we'll also remove The shadow image which is um, like if you go to my previous video um, you will probably know what I'm talking about so let's run this and see if we get a transparent net bar yes we did um, like what I want to do is that move this cell up here so I'm gonna head back to main.storyboard and what I'm going to do is uh, select my collection view and select the content insets to never that will kind of like move this cell up to up to the super view so let's run this again and see what happens yep so now I have uh, this right up against the top so let's change the color of the buttons as you scroll down collection views are a subclass of ui scroll view so we can actually access the scroll view methods here so what we are looking for is scroll view did scroll here and if i print out the scroll view dot content offset dot y component now it is at zero and when I kind of like scroll up it tells me how much of like what's the offset from the kind of like the top of the collection view 
So we are going to use this method to actually figure out where we are like to find out our location okay so let me uh, write the code here and then i'll go through it to change the color of the buttons we need to change the tint color and the easiest way i found is to fade from one color to another without doing too much maths is is selecting the ui color and and selecting this in it with hue So let me show you something. So if you go here and you choose and I think for you guys it should be RGB sliders but if you choose this HSP sliders here you can see what the components of particular color are. So hue is just uh, I think just pick a color of what you want and the saturation kind of like tells if how much saturation the color should have and the brightness is how dark or light it should be and see so if, so if we have this color and by controlling this I can change it from white to red okay so that part is done so this scroll view offset Y is the is the content offset from the top of the scroll view so 150 is just a point that I chose where I want this animation to fully happen so of course the scroll view is going to go above 150 and our offset would kind of become more than one so here I'm just declaring that if offset becomes one set it to one so it should not go above one and else if the offset is less than one then this line will execute we'll just set whatever the offset value is to our saturation value so if we run this one more time let's fix this blue thing here first we change the tint color to top white so if i scroll down the buttons kind of fade to red and they remain red until I scroll back up okay so that's one part so now on to the second part which is to change the background color of the navigation bar to white so let me type out the code for that and I will go through with you in a minute so what I'm doing here is setting the navigation bar background color to white color so I'm just setting this to 111 which means white and the alpha is kind of like which will allow us to fade in that white background uh, so it's the same concept here what I'm doing is if offset is greater than 1 then we'll set it to 1 otherwise if it's less than 1 then we'll set the alpha value to whatever the offset value is so, so it's the same concept here so nothing special so if I run this and show you guys so the navigation bar's background color kind of fades to white while at the same time the buttons are turning to red. I think we have a small problem here. The status bar is not turning, uh, the background is not changing uh, and it doesn't look very nice to be honest. So let's go ahead and fix that as well. So uh, in my app delegate, uh, what I want to do is create an extension. So basically what this thing does is, uh, is gives you access to the status bars view. So I don't know if that is the best way of doing it, but it works for me and I have had no problems so far. Um, so what we're going to do here is going to access the status bars view I think I need to save this first yep yeah. status bar view dot background color to UI color dot I think uh, let me just uh, create a variable here for that color 
is let's type this and I'm just going to pass this here and I'm also going to do the same thing here so the same concept applies here so we're just changing the alpha of the uh, of the color as the scroll view kind of like scrolls down if I run this again so if I scroll down um, that problem should be gone yep so there it is if I scroll up uh, it's back to normal if I scroll down the buttons kind of turn red and we have this nice fade to white nav bar so if you like this cool animation then please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already for more awesome stuff and let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next or if there is anything I can help you with and I will try my best well that's about it for this video and I will catch you guys in the next one.